Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects quick tip. Today I want to talk about how to send your text and it's actually more difficult than you think. So here we have our text layer. It is indeed centered, um, but if you can see right here, let's actually just make this onto one line and we center that. And if I want to rotate this, well, it's rotating, but it's not rotating around the center of the layer. It's rotating around the bottom of the layer. And that's just the way the text, the text layers work. That for some reason, they stick the anchor point right at the bottom of the text layer. And I could come in here and use my pan behind tool, which will move the anchor point and place that in the center. And that's all working fine, um, except for when I come in here and change the font size. Well, now it's not going around the center anymore. It's a little bit lower. So how do I make that so it dynamically stays into the center? And really up until now, there hasn't been a way to do that. Until the latest version of After Effects CC 2014.2, it came out Tuesday the 16th. And so if you are watching this on the day of the release of this video, it came out yesterday. And what it does is it allows you through expressions to gain access to the dimensions of a text layer. And so with that, I can go in and change the anchor point dynamically. So let me show you how that works. So let's go into the anchor point. Let's add an expression to it. So hold down Alt or Option. Click on the stopwatch. And let's start with value minus. Then we'll do a bracket, a square bracket, zero, comma. And then this is where we're going to write in the new expression that I have. This dot source, capital rect for rectangle, capital at, capital time, in parentheses, type in time, and then do dot height divided by two, end with a square bracket. And then what we have here is it's right in the center. When I increase, it'll keep it in the center. You can see that anchor point is dynamically changing with the size of the text. So that's really cool. Now I can take this, I can just go up, select anchor point, animation, save animation preset, and then anytime I want to make sure my text is centered, I can do that. Now to see that expression again, I've got it typed out here. It's right up there, and it's also down in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I do have some more tutorials coming out soon, um, not this week, but probably next week, that involve this new expression, some cool things you can do with it with lower thirds, and also dynamically linking that all into Premiere Pro. So expect that soon. Um, and if you have any questions or requests um, using this expression, just ask those down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.